this was the direction that Marvel was going in right here. This was it. This this was the direction. And this direction ultimately was failing like there's no manana. We saw that. We we saw the trajectory. Everyone was pretty much saying that Marvel is is dead. It's done. Right. And then they you know, they started making all these excuses. Say, oh, people are just tired of, of superhero movies. The MCU is played out. It's all nonsense. The reason why th this shit right here was failing, right here, this garbage right here, the reason why is because the story sucked. The heroes that they picked, heroines that they picked, sucked. Nobody cares about them. These, these are not the characters that built the MCU. These are the characters that were destroying the MCU. Right? Nobody is out here trying to see a season two of Little Miss Marvel. Nobody cares about Captain Marvel. You know, is, these are terrible characters. And again, these people, they, they, once they saw that this shit was failing, failing are they started making all these excuses. Oh, it's because of this, because of that, right? People just don't go to the movies anymore. That's, that's something you heard a lot of. People are sick of the superhero movies. And all those woke freaks were silenced with this right here. Deadpool and Wolverine. This movie came out. It's going to be a billion dollar movie. Easy. If it, if it isn't already. And this is the result of Deadpool and Wolverine. Right here. Look at this. Marvel Studios cleaned house and fired the activist producers. That's right. The geniuses behind this garbage right here. Right. The geniuses that thought it was going to be a good idea to give us a, a feminist She-Hulk the dummies that thought it was going to be a good idea to give us a trio of nobodies, right? Those people, apparently, they've been sent packing. Kevin Feige said, enough, enough with the woke experiment, right? Let's get back to making some money. Let's get back to actually making shit that people care about. And apparently, he is getting rid of all those woke activists over at Disney, over at Marvel, that were trying to push this dog shit down our throats, bro. I ain't going to hold you. It was no surprise to anybody with two brain cells, you know, anybody that wasn't a Ray fan, anybody that isn't a Star Wars sequels fan, that this shit was not going to work. This right here, little, what was her name? America Chavez, right? They, she, they made her the star of that Doctor Strange movie. This other garbage right here, the the Eternals, right? The, it's not going to get a season two. The Agatha Harkness. The genius is behind this this show. That's that's is it out out already? It's coming out. Doesn't matter. It's gonna it's gonna bomb. Those people, they're getting out of there, right? They, they don't want to. We, we, the Eternals, right here, not gonna get us. Not gonna get a part two. <laughs> Sorry to the five fans that actually like this garbage. Sorry, you're not gonna get a part two. Uh, with the the majority, the same people, right? The real MCU fans. It's it's our time again. Once again, sorry. Who's this? Who's this person right here? Zach? Who, who the? Who doesn't matter who that person is? <laughs> I don't know who that person is. Who cares, right? Doesn't matter. This, this is what matters right here. Right here. The boys are back in town. And, 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 you know, it's about time. It's about time that the MCU course corrected. Because it is a win-win. Right? The real MCU fans. We're going to get our heroes back. We're going to get uh, heroes that we actually care about. Right, the actors that we actually care about. Make no mistake about it. The reason why they bought they brought Robert Downey Jr. back was because they realized they fucked up with this garbage down here. Right, this 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 garbage right here and and right there. This this is it. This is the pinnacle of the MCU right here. This is the manifestation of woke MCU right here, and its failure proves that nobody wants to see this woke garbage, bro. Nobody wanted to see the marbles. It bombed. It's it's the worst money making or or lack of money making production in I believe superhero history. Right? I don't think there's been a super. I think the Marvels pretty much is the worst performing superhero movie ever. Certainly the worst performing movie for Marvel. They lost. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they lost like six hundred million dollars in that garbage. The, the She-Hulk series, another garbage show, right? But again, Kevin Feige they, and, and Disney and Marvel, they, they gave out the big bucks to Robert Downey Jr. and the Russo brothers to come back and, and actually make a good movie, make some good movies. Now, 
I will say this. I'm not a big fan of Robert Downey Jr. coming back as Dr. Doom. I think that Dr. Doom should have been given to to someone else that it could have been a, 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 a the origin of Dr. Doom in, in the MCU. It could have been organic. This this is just lazy. But make no mistake about it. This is going to make money, right? And that's that's what it's all about. It's about making money. It's not about charity. You know, you woke dummies, you Ray fans. It's not about giving people, you know, let's, let's give them a chance. Let's not. Let's not give them a chance. Not everyone deserves a chance, right? Over here, WandaVision Extra number 52, right here. Uh, what's her name? Light? Whatever her name is. Light Beam? I don't know what her name is. This one right here. She did not need to be in a, in, in a Marvel movie. I'm not, I'm not talking about the actress. I don't, I don't know too much about that actress. She might be talented. I have no idea. I, all I know is that character sucks. Nobody wants to see this character, right? Look at that costume. Terrible costume. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm happy. That it seems that Marvel is course correcting. We're gonna get back to actually making good stuff that we're excited about. Right? Ain't nobody excited about that Agatha show, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Right? Nobody is excited for that Iron Heart show. That Iron Heart show, by the way, it, it, it finished like two years ago. That show is done. But 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 you know, Kevin Feige and, and the executives over at Marvel, they know. <laughs> oh, they know. They know that once that show comes out. Little, little, little Ironheart show. They know it's going to be a stinker, bro. They, they know it's going to, it's going to go negative 5,200 in the ratings, bro. It's, it's, it's going to, it's going to suck. And so they're doing, they're waiting until you forget that it even existed. I don't even think they're going to release it, honestly. I mean, they might, they might release it just because they, you know, the money has already been invested. It's already gone. Might as well just put it on Disney plus and hope that nobody sees it. Right, because it's going to be another piece of dog shit. But anyway, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments. And like always, don't forget to subscribe. Sensational.